Welcome everyone. I'm Angie Choplin, Principal of Prince Abraham Elementary. This is an orientation to our new code, which has been created through an inclusive process. It is going to be their North Star, our guide to supporting equity in each and every student. Thank you for taking time to watch this presentation. The problem and the opportunity. We want to begin with the reasons the district is revising the code. One major issue is that all students are losing too much instructional time due to disciplinary issues. We are looking at a total of missed days due to OSS and ISS. The bottom line is that students need to be in class in order to learn. This is one of the key issues that caused a revision in the code. The second problem the code will address is disproportional discipline. Research shows that despite similar levels of behavioral violations, students of color and students with disability receive more severe disciplinary consequences. On this screen, you will see data from our district that illustrates the problem. On average, suspension rates for both ISS and OSS are five times higher for African Americans or more than white students. Suspension rates for Hispanic, Latino, and multiracial students are more than two times higher than white students. This speaks to the urgency of the work. It is about making sure all students are treated fairly and equitably. Some reasons for the data. Inconsistency in classroom practices and administrative practices within the school and across schools, biases, racial learning, gender, language, cultural, and also interventions not consistent from school to school and not measured for impact. These are just a few of the reasons for the data and look at the, we want to look at the opportunities ahead. The district wants to decrease a loss of instructional time, a disproportional application of disciplinary responses, rates of recidivism, students with repeated unskilled behavior, and discretionary language to describe unwanted behaviors. The district wants to increase equity and restorative interventions for all students and perceptions of schools as a welcoming, safe, inclusive environment among all students and families. Our code of character and conduct and support will guide the staff to come together to unify their practices, to provide students with a fair, respectful, and equitable schooling experiences as they move through the district. It is morally urgent that we revise our code and standardize our processes, protocols, and structures to achieve equitable outcomes for each and every student. All of the stakeholders you see on the screen were involved in the revision of our code, which began last year. Over 300 people across the district and community touched this code. Some of you could have been involved in the process. I want to share a little more about the code of conduct. The code of conduct and support piece, key reasons or sections. The code of conduct and beliefs include accountable and restorative approaches, multi-tier systems of support, SEL, character and conduct, culturally responsive practices, and trauma-informed practices. And the district has also created five common core beliefs. Adult behaviors impact student outcomes. Home, school, and community relationships drive student success. Students remember how we make them feel. A growth mindset fosters high expectations for all students, and students are the heart of all we do. As a member of a community, we must understand our rights and responsibilities. Multi-tiered systems of report support. A code of conduct is 
about supporting all students holistically, academically, socially, and emotionally through a MTSS process. Tier 1 includes school-wide promotion and preventative practices. This is an example of district-wide rules and procedures. Tier 2 is supported by teachers and students and support staff and administrators. And Tier 3 are interventions for students with really complex social, emotional, and behavioral needs. This is another example on this slide of the MTSS process and support. Effective discipline begins with a promotion and enforcement of five positively stated district-wide rules that guide student conduct. These are the rules. I will respect others' personal space. I respect and value everyone's individual and group dignity and identity. I arrive on time, stay in class, and have a pass or permission to travel in public spaces. I listen, acknowledge, and respond to directives and requests. I communicate respectively and, respectively and use school-appropriate language. The disciplinary response cycle includes referral, accountable consequences, restorative interventions, and closing the loop. While the disciplinary section of the code increases equity, it limits discretionary decision-making by standardizing accountable consequences aligning every accountable consequence with a restorative intervention, ensuring consistent communication across all stakeholder groups. In closing, we want to thank you for taking time to listen to this. Following this brief presentation, we will have a QR code that provides you with much more detailed information on the code. And if you have time, please take time to read that. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.